What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. Today is Monday, October 19th. Street release date for those... Sorry about the glare. Street release date for those new heavy saturation end credit Mandalorian figures. I came yesterday and they didn't have anything on shelves in stock. Um, I'm going to try and see if on actual street release date you can pick up one or two or nine of them i don't know stick uh, around guys hopefully we find something good deuces so that was a no at Pinol. uh they're doing some construction in here too if you can kind of see that so right now I kind of put out an APP with some of my local guys in my area to see if anyone has come across one, uh, knows a store that has a bunch. I know leading up to leading up to its release, uh, people were spotting them in places. So I, I know they're out. It's just got to get to them now. GameStop opens in about an hour, so I kind of just got to wait patiently. But I'm going to try to see if I can pick up the IG-11 as well. I, I missed out on that one. All right, guys, came back to the Best Buy. A friend of mine told me to order online and then do store pickup. So, boom, here it is. Mando with the saturation deco. Uh, let's get him back home. Uh, I've got the original one. I'm going to open that one up. Plus, I got a bunch of uh, stormtroopers I've been meaning to open up. So, let's, let's get this guy home and get him out of box. It's a little bit of a cheat, it is, but as you guys saw, I already came to the store, so we did hunt today, but we we got the pickup. Um, you know, ha having it delivered to you is like, you know, going to a restaurant and getting a steak, as opposed to you hunting it, cooking it, and eating your steak. Uh, you get fat that way. But it's cool, it's release date, so let's get this guy opened up. Uh, I'm maybe I'll go back out and try to see if I get IG 11, but I want to get him opened up. I've got heavy infantry trooper. I got this one the day that this one was announced, the day that this whole wave got announced that Mando Monday. I got this one, so I, I haven't even had this one in my possession uh, that long. I traded my toy connect uh, for a, it was a stormtrooper and this guy for Bly and Fox. Was that an even trade? Comment below. And then I found number two in the store and then I traded someone else for number three. So at present time, I've got three and I'm always looking to pick up more. I'll, I'll trade you whatever, make me an offer. Um, I'm even willing to pick up loose ones right now. I, I'm, I'm just trying to army build and this is a really good mold. This is a really good version of the Stormtrooper because you can use these with your Mandalorians as we're gonna as we're gonna do right you can also do the uh, Rebels era which you can line up with these line up with the new uh the newest Endor wave that's gonna come out these guys will these guys will line up with anything Star Wars other than the prequels other than you know uh clones but these these work really well with lining up with just about any Star Wars era except for you know Clone Wars era enough yapping let's open all this stuff up remember to use a uh, sharp knife cut around these edges that way you uh, preserve this cardboard uh think of like the 40th anniversary of season one of mandalorian um how, how much this card back is going to cost your you can put your grandkids through college probably keep your knives sharp so mando is cut loose save that there went the uh, republic credit save that part for later Bam, there's the Platinum Republic credit. Uh, Let's get the original D2 if you're uh, still looking for this guy. That's what the back of box art looks like. Pretty cool. All right, side by side. Let's compare. What do we like about each figure? I've, I'm, I'm, I'm opening it up for the first time too, guys, so I don't, I don't know anything about it other than what it's been on the show. Originals backpack is more of a yellow. I wouldn't say mustard, but that's it's cool. It's bendy wire too. No, it's not bendy wire. Uh, it does swing here, so it, it locks in, and he still can 
chain gun left left to right it's flexible though it'll it'll give it'll let you do certain positions a little bit warped minuscule it'd be cool if uh this would spin like a real gatling gun i wonder how much that would cost to get a spinning articulation saturated background so comparing the two One's a little more on the orange side, the other's more yellow. So the orange would be the uh, heavy saturation. All right, high saturation, let's go. Off top, I saw something fall right off of his arm. So we'll try to figure out what that was. So we found the last piece. It's a hose that connects, it slots in. It's got a, an angle at which it's got to come in from. There's a peg on the back, pops in. And then that hose goes to the pack. Initial thoughts, this thing is sweet. Um, like, bro, I don't even know how you hold this gun. It's just got weapons on weapons. All right, so here we have guy number one in our most generic pose we can find him in. The Kenner pose, as I like to call it. All right, original or D2 infantry trooper, come on out. All right, so if you saw our last video where we opened up the Caradun from this wave, uh, very similar uh, solid patterns. This one here is more of, yeah, high saturation. What what I like about it is that now it gives me two. I, I can uh, line them up and they're two separate characters. Are they brothers? Are they, you know, twins under this, uh, under this Mandalorian helmet? Uh, you remember like the Conseco brothers? Just big beefy dudes hiding under under these things. Yeah, it's the same person, but not at, not at my house. These are, these guys are gonna be twin brothers, possibly even separated at birth. Up next, we've got stormtroopers. Three of them to be exact. Four if you count that one back there on the door. Um, but yeah, let's let's open these guys up and start our start our army building or something. Right, three of them. Let's go. We've never opened a Stormtrooper on this channel, so this is the first. We are opening up three genuine Imperial Stormtroopers. Non-warped blaster. It's all how you pull them out, really. If you yank them out, you're going to bend them. So we got three triple blasters for you. I almost need, like, another hand. Uh, boom, 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 boom. So standard issue for Stormtroopers of the Empire. We gotta name these guys. What do you say? Uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Dewey, come on out. Louie, you're up. Alright guys, so Huey, Dewey, and Louie are out of the boxes. Let's get everybody in the studio and let's review. I got a lot of blast effects laid out just to see what fits best on the Mando Heavy Infantry. Back in studio, guys. I know we opened with the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, but man, I can't stop talking about how good the articulation is on these new Stormtroopers. Here's the Galaxy's Edge 3-pack exclusive. It also came with Kylo Ren and a mouse droid. So the Mountain Trooper would actually be one of the worst articulated. He looks really cool. I'll give him that. Is he a good figure? That's debatable. His arm sockets are not great. He's definitely a cool looking figure, but his articulation is trash. This is just a respray of Phasma's body. And then they did it again for a Captain Cardinal. The articulation on this one isn't great, but it's better than Mountain Trooper. Hey, we remember this guy, right? Raider! Good flex in the shoulders. They're getting better with the figures as far as their flexibility. Then we hit the First Order Sith Trooper. I'm holding them in this angle because I want you guys to check out that right there. They gave us a butterfly joint. That's going to start changing things up as far as mobility, as far as what they can do. But it's going to get better. Let's check these guys out. Let's use Louie here. He's doing the Mexican pose for What's Up. 
to show us his flexibility. Look how far back he can open it up. Top view. The best way I can describe it is they gave us Wolverine, where you don't lose anything aesthetically in the chest, but you still get that really good flexibility to be able to go back. I mean, look at that. That is like Wolverine good for flexibility. So this new shoulder plate design hooks in above the shoulder and gives it a little more flex. If you pull the shoulders back, he does look a little wonky, but other than that, it's a really solid figure upper body wise. Lower body was never the problem with stormtroopers. It was always the upper bodies, the mobility on the shoulders. So you get that floating breastplate that we talked about on top of the articulation in the butterfly joints. And then he comes with a 360 as well as swivel at the waist or upper diaphragm, but nothing at the actual waist. As you can see with Jumpman 23 back there, he can kick forward and kick back really well, as well as spread it open that far. I mean, like he can almost do this yoga pose. You can almost touch his opposite foot with his opposite hand. If you know yoga, that's a hard pose. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, thanks for helping us out, guys. Let's check out the big boys. The brothers, the Canseco brothers. Similar to Professor Hulk War Machine. Or the Mark I Iron Man. They're going to be big and clunky. Let's check out articulation. As well. Iron Man Repulsor Blast. I put a couple different colors just so you can see. Switch it up. See what you want to do. But they poured in those holes there as well as one here. Standard Repulsor Blast for Iron Man will fit perfectly in there and give you a pretty cool looking blast effect. Now, he also comes with a butterfly joint, not as great as the Stormtroopers, but it gives him better mobility to open him up. He can bend about that far back, and then he's got the upper diaphragm ball joint, so he can swivel and full 360. As we get in close on the neck... He's got what's known as kind of like the joystick neck where there's a single piece here as well as a ball joint and a ball joint down there. Look at the big fella spreading it open all the way to the top. Using that skirt to cover up that junk in the trunk. I see you, girl. Kicks forward that much. Kicks back almost nothing. He can go 360 at the thigh, but what I like is that they put this armor plating to overlap the thigh so it can still spin and keep its integrity. Double jointed at the knee so he can kick his own butt. That's actually really good for a Star Wars Blacks. Their feet are usually trash. This is more of a Marvel Legends type of foot. And yes, just in case you're wondering, he is wearing pants. Sickos. So secondary markets for this guy were really high. $60, $70, $80 were not uncommon. Hasbro sees that and they say, let me re-slap some paint on it and sell it to you, thereby dropping down the price for a secondary market on this guy. That's how it works. They're aware of what the secondary markets are for their products as well as what's being customized, and they will do it and sell it to you at $19.99, $29.99 in these cases, maybe $49.99 in the Rider Series cases. Really good figs, guys. Pick up either one or both if you can, as well as these Stormtroopers. You will not be disappointed. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this toy hunt slash review. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Share us with some Mando enthusiasts. Deuces, guys. We will catch you on the next one.